Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor due to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone, the men who taught us this truth, and much love, greetings, and salutations to all the fellow laborers of the tabernacle of David, though for elect. And um quick update. Um, this right here is um the new page that Elder Apostle Gabor will be uploading his uh videos. All right, so just to uh, spread the word. You know, all of you brothers and sisters that are subscribed to this channel, um, go ahead and, um, you know, go to this page right here. And I'll try to leave the link to this page in the description box. You can go ahead and, uh, you know, subscribe to the page so you can continue to get edified. All right. And the Elder Apostle Gabar, you know, uh, is what, 30 years, you know, going on 30 years in, in counting of uh, edification, man. You know, prophesying, going into this work. You know, doing his ministry, man, that's, you know, that's clearly a man of the Lord there, man. All right. And the scriptures say to, um, you know, mark the, the, the perfect man. And, um, you know, because the end of that man is peace. All right. So, you know, matter of fact, you know, in his uh, the title of his uh, new page, you know, which, you know, he names, you know, uh, his videos, you know, by the title, you know, daily edification, daily uh, exhortation. And that's basically something that. You know, when you actually put this word out, that's the main thing you should be doing is, uh, you know, edifying and exhorting. Let's go to our first Corinthians. The purpose of these videos is just so that, you know, brothers and sisters in the church can be built up. Their faith be built up. All right. That their understanding can be uh, increased, that their, um, you know, their, their spirit can be comforted, that they can uh, receive uh, warning, exhortation, admonishment. OK, all to the building up of the church. This is our first Corinthians 14. Matter of fact, let me jump to verse 26 and then I'm going to jump back up. Our first Corinthians 14 and 26. It says, how is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have a psalm, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, have an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. And what does it mean to edify? It means to build. All right. And we all are building upon the foundation of who? Yahweh Shai. All right. So we ought to be rooted and built upon that foundation. All right. And one of the, 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 the biggest forms of edifying the church is going into prophecy, which, you know, that's the main thing that the elder apostle Gabar, you know, goes into as well as the other elder apostles. All right. And, and all the Akim, you know, underneath. Um, First Corinthians 14 and uh, verse one, follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may prophesy for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto the most high for no man understandeth him. How be it in the spirit, he speaketh mysteries, but he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. Okay. So the prophesying is, is, is the main form of uh, edification, building up, you know, the, the church, man. All right. Because prophesying, it, it gives you what? Forewarning of this of the things to come. The impending judgment that the Lord is, is, is coming to execute. You know, we we're, we're, we're being, you know, uh, uh, comforted by understanding that, you know, he's getting ready to show up and, 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 you know, bring us out of our captivity. He's getting ready to bring salvation, but he's also getting ready to bring judgment. So, you know, we get these videos, you know, uh, uh, as exhortation, you know, from especially from the, the elders, the, 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 the heads, you know, to watch over us, to keep us in the right direction so that we don't, you know, uh, uh, be led away from the path. You know, on the most side, basically, um, you know. Uh, 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 you know, turning his back to us and, you know, we get caught up in his wrath. So it's very important to, 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 you know, hearken to wise counsels, you know? So, uh, verse four, and it says, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesieth edifieth the church. All right. So that's why the Lord would rather, you know, we all, uh, prophesy, man. Okay. And that's the, you know, the main content that's going on, you know, these pages, now, of course, we go into the history. All right, we go into, uh, you know, bring out information, but we're mainly focused on prophecy. And one of the main things that we're known to do is prophesy against uh, Mount Seir, prophesy against uh, Edom. 
Esau eat them. And that's why Esau, who happens to be the rulers of the darkness of this world, you know, they're trying to quell that light that's shining. So they're trying to get rid of us. They're trying to, um, you know, sabotage our content. They're trying to, um, you know, block our pages, you know, our, our social media accounts, so on and so forth. You know, because, you know, he's getting hewn down by the prophets. You know, constantly getting exposed, getting uh, uh, uncovered. You know, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things, uh, you know, uh, uh, sought out, man? You know, that age through the, through the prophets of the Lord, through the spirit of the Most High. Okay? And he doesn't like it, man. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, we, the, as long as we got breath, the Lord's going to continue to have us out there prophesying. As long as we got the Most High's breath in us, we're going to continue to go out there and prophesy. We're going to continue to go out there and push this word. Yeah, the, the Most High said that which he uh, speak, you know, it shall accomplish that which he pleases. All right. It shall not return to him void. Isaiah 55 and 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the water. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. And who are his mouthpiece? The prophets. All right, the elder apostles, the, the, those men are prophets. All right, the elders up under them, those are prophets. All the men of great millstone, we're all prophets. So this word going through us is going forth throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and it says, and it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which, he ple which I please. So the most high is with us. Okay, it says, and shall prosper in the thing thereto I sent it. And everything that we've been speaking according to this word, the Most High is going to, uh, he's going to act on it. He's going to make big on his, his, his word, man. And remember, the Lord said he exalted his word above his, uh, his, his own name. All right. So this word is very important, man. The word getting out is very, very, very important, man. So, it, so you know, th this doesn't stop the party, man. Esau, in his little hissy fit, all right, taking down brother's page because he's hurt. It doesn't stop anything, man. We're going to work right around his antics, and we're going to continue to torch his ass like, like Godfrey did <laughs> to, to DJ Flad, all right? So, anyway, with that, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Shemiah Shai, and be sure to subscribe to um, this page right here. Shalom.